gonna get to it. We're gonna be camping out this weekend here at the uh, Suggs Mill Game Lands. This is the Hunter's Campground. So we're gonna set the tent up, I guess, somewhere over here like we normally do. And yeah. we're gonna be trying to catch some chain pickerel this weekend, so. We're gonna be after my favorite little uh, slime darts, little snot rockets. Try and hook into some of those and see what we can do this weekend. Maybe it'll produce, maybe their breeding is over, but enough talking. Let's get this tent set up and see what else we can get into tonight before the morning. Hello? Hello. Hi. What are you doing? I am uh, out here at Suggs Mill, about to go fishing. What are you doing? Yeah, out here at the house, about to do yard work. Yard work? That's not what you're supposed to do with your Saturday. You're supposed to come out fishing. Right. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Two buddies of ours are uh, going to be joining us, which is awesome. Anyways, we're going to eat, hit the water, and... Uh, Hopefully we'll catch some fish. That'd be nice, right? Making nice little videos. So, anyways, see you out there. My well, buddy has arrived and we're being attacked by yellow flies. Oh, all over the place. Yeah, look, there's one on my paddle. There's one on the inside of my kayak. They're nasty little things. They don't feel too good when they bite you. We found one. He just did miss. still be hanging around. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Got it in the gills, so we're just gonna cut our line and retie. Make sure this fish doesn't die. What a beauty. Beautiful fish. So nice to be back on one. All right, I think it's about time to let this guy go. Measured it, it's about 13 inches, so not a monster. Off they go. Oh my god, bro! Holy crap! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Holy crap, dude, the adrenaline! I'm pretty, I, was like, I was pretty sure I saw a fish come out of water. Dude, that was insane! What in the world? That must have been a good, like, 20 inch pike, dude. There's no way a little one could have, like, yanked that out of my hands like that. Fish on. Let's see if we can get him in. Oh, bad netting skills. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> nice. Go 
now. All right. Well, that's two on the board. You still on? Need help? I'm coming. Probably the second pike I've caught out here. Dang, man. First one of the year. Yeah, for sure. Here, let me uh put my paddle on the front of yours. Okay. Then. How big no crap. That that's a good one. Look at the head on it. That's uh no, that's bigger than 14. That's I'd say about 16, 17. I got gotcha. you. Here. Um oh, just get that up. Here. Uh, put, put her in there and slack your line. Put a lot of slack in your line right now. Let me get a picture before we throw it back up. Oh, yeah, you're good. I'm, I'm just wanting to get it in the water for a moment. Because they don't do so well at the water, especially in the heat of the day. Straight swallowed it, bro. I was just listening to you, and the next thing I knew something was just old and good. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, I was all like, yeah, man, just keep tossing it. You'll get you one. <laughs> I just got like some regular old beetle nose. Stir that on me. It's it stuck on my hat. <laughs> Get you sideways, man. Perfect. You have to send me that. I'll put you in the video. Here's your phone here. Her gills like clamped on to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Swimming good. She kicked one time. I don't know what happened. She went under you after that. Gotcha. Yeah, she should be fine. I think she. We we did her right. Kept her in the water enough. Let's look. These are carnivorous uh, honeydews. I've never seen them out here before. Look at that. That's a carnivorous plant. The honeydew. Look, there's a bunch on this tree as well. Oh my goodness. I never noticed these all the years I've been coming out here. That is amazing. That is so cool. Wow. If we can catch one more good one, I was really thinking about keeping it. Yeah, I was going to ask you if you were waiting for like a 20 inch or what. The 20 inches are rare. The common ones out here that you're going to get are usually about like the size of the one you caught. And then occasionally bigger. And then every once in a while you hook into the small ones. Yes, look at that. What a catch. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, it feels good. And that's a good one. You know, I think we might keep him to eat. It's a good fish. Fairly large. It's a decent one. Somewhere around 16. Blow up. Of course he missed. They always miss. Why you suck so bad, fish? <laughs> oh, see again. <laughs> he missed. Oh my god, that's a big one too. Come on, man. Stop playing with my emotions, bro. That's a good bike. Just try and take her time, wear him out a little bit.
shoot. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I about knocked the fish off. <laughs> yes! That's a good one. Decent fish. Oh, we're about to lose it. Slippery guy. I'd say this one's pushing 18. It's a good fish. That'll be some good meat. She's fairly thick, so we'll get a lot of good meat off of her. She got a little gill hooked, so I'm deciding to keep her as well. Don't want to uh, be tossing back fish that are just going to bleed out, you know. So, well, we made it back. My buddy's running to the house for a little bit. We got three pike to cook up. Probably look like a hot mess right now. About to jump in the water. <laughs> so, yeah. We're gonna cook those up here in a little bit, so we'll get on that in just a moment. But uh, first, we gotta go for a swim. All right, so we got our fish right here. About to get those all filleted up. But first, we're gonna start boiling some potatoes. Do a little uh, Joe Bay, really similar to Old Bay. About the same thing. Both taste really good. All right, so while we do that, I'm gonna start filleting up these fish, and I guess we're gonna do that in the, uh, the old uh, time lapse. So sit back and enjoy. Sounding nice and hot. So let's get this party started. Oh, yeah, I just don't see where it's most different to cat fish. Yeah, it does taste a lot like catfish. It's really just straightforward. Not a very fishy taste. You would, Man, you wouldn't think it, man. They're so slimy and you're just like, they're such an odd looking fish. You would think that they would just have a foul flavor, you know, but no, they're one of the best fish, I would say, to cook that's from freshwater. White meat, yeah, guys. Can't beat that. Try some pie, guys. You won't regret it. Nice thick pieces of meat. Mm. What do you think about that? Scrub dilly <laughs> That's what we like to hear. I'm gonna get me, get into some of this myself. Man, that's good. Tastes really good, but you just gotta pick around the bones. The Y bones. You see, they got the little Y to them. Not sure if you can see that all too well, but the pike are full of them, but definitely worth eating around it. A great tasting fish. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So I guess we're going to towel down a little bit. Yeah, it looks like we're going to hit the water again. So I'm going to uh, up my sunburn just a little bit more. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to see if we can get into anything else tonight. All right, we're back on the water. Gonna see if we can catch a couple more pike before the sun sets and see if we can get a little more sunburn. That's all. Yes, 
good fish. Oh man, that's probably the biggest of the day right there. Solid fish. Wow, hooked under the mouth. Isn't that amazing? Come here. Look at that. What a magnificent fish. Gorgeous. Look at it. Look at that eye staring at me. Oh, she don't like it very much. Whenever you're ready, girl. Or guy. And that's why I absolutely love being out here. <laughs> Good fish. Really good fish. Come here, get on that. Nice. You've been eating good. Pretty fish. You fought good. Appreciate that. Really enjoy the thrills, you know? <laughs> well, that's another one down. I think we're up to about five today. We have done the best today than we have all year, so I'm uh, pretty happy about that. I think we can get into another one before the evening's out. We've already gotten into two on the second round of the day, so I don't see why we can't find one more at least. Maybe even more than that. We'll see what we get into. I'm gonna keep heading that way where I saw the alligator and uh, keep my eyes open, one and see if I can't find another pike. And on the releases, keep my hands out of the water. Good fish. The camera died halfway through the fight. Sorry about that guys, should have been paying a little more attention. But I went ahead and immediately switched the camera batteries real fast and just kept the fish in the water. So we're back in business. Managed to net it, you know, perfectly fine. Didn't have too many issues here. Look at this beautiful fish. I'm staring us in the eye, looking in my soul. You can see him kind of looking around. He's wondering what in the world's going on. Let's get him back in. Come on. We got a gator hanging around. I'm not trying to keep my hands in the water too long with the fish. Oh, I tried. 
<laughs> oh, I should have tried to net him. Damn it. I was like, oh, I'll just flip him. He's right here. He was a little bit bigger than I thought. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Yeah, I caught two more. Pretty good one, too. No, that's a fish, bro. Oh, shit. You got another flyer. <laughs> Here, let's let's come over and take a look at it. Fishing gear. Thanks I didn't know gorgeous. whether to go with dark or bright. I figured dark. Yeah, it's dark water. Yeah. He's you're probably mimicking the little minnows that are in here. You want to get a picture of them or anything? Oh, well, we hooked into a couple more on the second half of the day. I guess we're about to head in here in just a little bit. The sun is setting. We're getting some beautiful colors on the horizon. We might do a little fishing here at night, try and hook into some more catfish. But other than that, uh, we'll see you on tomorrow's escapades. <clears throat> we're out here for day number two. My legs are quite sunburnt, so we're going to have to look a little silly because I don't have pants. So <laughs> We're fully covered up now. I got the long sleeve on, got the face mask, sunglasses, a hat. And now we're putting a shirt over our legs, so it might look a little goofy. But it's practical because I'm not trying to have third degree burns on my legs. So anyways, we're going to try and get somewhere shady if possible and uh, see if we can't hook into something else today and then get on out of here and get back to regular life. So let's see what happens. Uh, the pickerel. Pardon? The pickerel. That's what I thought. Oh, yeah. Not very many people cast out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love them to death. I'm Are starting there to... many in here? Yes, quite. him off the front are you kidding me <clears throat> luckily he was a small one that was a failure on my behalf <laughs> I was trying to bring him around but that didn't work did it oh well on to the next one He jumped straight out of the water. Damn it. Oh, dude. Oh, so cool. Another jump, another miss. Oh, we finally got him. And he's wrapped all up in this. That's gonna be a hard one. How are we gonna get him out? There we go. Oh, what an awesome catch. <laughs> Two times it jumped and missed. He finally slammed it on the third. What an awesome, awesome catch. Look at that. What an awesome fish. Hit it like a champ. So cool. I 
done this fish twice. <laughs> Man, I love how aggressive these fish are. That was insane. Oh, did he get me in the root again? Oh, he might have got off. Oh, he bit me off. Swivel and all. What a joke, bro. <laughs> Man. That poor guy, now he's got a freaking spoon and a swivel in his mouth. He'll probably shake it, though. It was a quick hit, so I imagine he got it in the lip. Ah, oh, that's painful for me and the poor fish. That sucks. Ugh. So we're tying on one of my handcrafted, uh, made out of uh, probably poplar wood. I made this one probably a year ago. So we got a nice perch color here. We got a lot going on with that color scheme. So I think that it'll do well. It, uh, it'll float and it has a really nice uh, kind of S action underwater. Just your kind of typical jerk bait kind of style. So, trying to get this fish that took my stuff, but I highly doubt he's going to bite again. I was hoping that this lure was kind of heavy, and it is, so I can cast it the same as the spoons. So, we're just going to start working this. That pretty fish. It's a flyer in the brim species.
fish. Get off the spot here. I suspect there's more. What a beautiful pickle. Look at the gold colors on that one. It's gorgeous. Big old fat belly. What an amazing fish. Back in we go. Ah, finally. Hooked into another one and got him in. After maybe 10 strikes or so. Feels good to actually catch a fish again. <laughs> Let's see if there's any more sitting over there in the grass. I got a feeling there are. So let's go get them. Oh, yes. That's a big one. <laughs> Do you see the wake when it chased it? We're gonna have to slow mo that. Oh my god. That was awesome. <laughs> oh. Holy crap. Every year I always catch the largest ones over here. I don't know what it is. It must be all this grass. So this is one of their favorite spots. I mean, look at this fish. Hold on, let me get him out because he is, he's big. That's a good fish. That's what we come out here for. All right, finally got him unhooked. Look at that one. What a big, solid pickerel. See if we can get a measurement without losing him. Yeah, he's close to 19, maybe 18 and some change. All right, let's get him back in the water here for a second. Got to slime it up my kayak. back nice and lively. Let me get a picture of him. Get him back in. Appreciate that. Trying to cool me off. All right. That's the best one of the day. Pretty happy about that one. Can't beat that. All right. Let's see if there's any more hanging out over here. Just had a nice strike right there. We'll go for it a second time. He's chasing it. There he is. Right in the lily pads. There we go. Get free. There we go. Come on. Get out of there. Are you still on? There he is. Oh my goodness. I thought he shook it. Oh, damn lily pads, man. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's get back into another one. Make ourselves feel better about that one. Because that sucked. That really sucked. That 
Sucked a lot. a good fish. <sighs> that one startled me. Shake it. There we go. Nice. Good fish. They're all good fish, you know? Any fish you catch is a good fish, even if it's a small fish. What a pretty, pretty fish. Or just colors big old fat belly they've been eating good out here as it heats up they seem to be getting a lot more active and they are tearing some baits up there you go awesome That's a big one. That's a dude. That's a good fish. I say that about every fish, but this one's <laughs> really good. Nice. I never stop enjoying that. You just never know if you're gonna get a man, and it's one of the most rewarding feelings to get a pike in. Because they just fight so hard. And you lose like half of them that you hook into, you know? So, it's always a joy to get one hooked in. <sighs> or, not hooked in, but pulled in. Anyways. Pretty fish. Big one. Oh yeah, that one's pushing, pushing 19. Yeah, I'd say about 19 or 18 and three fourths. Got a pretty big uh, head on it. Good fish. One more look at her. Send her back. Shake it, don't shake it. Get on that. Oh, goodness. A terrible netting skills on that one. 
such an adrenaline rush. I swear, it just never stops. Look at the pretty colors, man. Gotta love seeing them. Look at the dark brown with the black specks. It turns into this olive green, kind of with the gold spots, the white belly. It's a pretty good one here. Let's see if I can get a measurement of her. Whoop, 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 getting slimed. Yeah, I think she's about, I'd say about 18, roughly 18. Get you squared away. Got the lip pretty good, didn't we? You'd be okay. Go on now. Big strike. No hookup. Good. So bad. <laughs> oh, I hooked the outside of the net. That's the one way to do it. <laughs> yeah, goodness. Oh, he's free. Don't bite me, please. I'll go in there. I can't reach it. Jeez. The net where I could get a picture or record the release. <laughs> oh well, sometimes it happens. I'm about to starve to death and we've fished our heart out today. We're gonna get out of here and go get some food and get back home. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been an awesome trip for me personally, so I, I hope you guys enjoyed and like what I do with my footage. If you do, please like the video. If you can, share it, leave a comment anything is uh very helpful i'm trying to grow the channel so if you like what i'm doing here please try and support me in any way you can it is really appreciated and i can't appreciate enough everyone that takes the time to watch my videos and if you got to the end you're awesome and i love you to death so i'm gonna get out of here get some food and uh we'll see you on the next video later <laughs>